Welcome back everybody. I just received a shipment of these two boxes. Uh, these are new old stock tools. I've done a couple videos now with uh, new old stock tools. Just like the other ones, I have not seen uh, what's in the boxes as far as uh, I bought them with no pictures. Uh, just brief descriptions. There should be tools in here from Crescent, Bonnie, uh, Sterrett, Diamond, and Exolite. Total I paid was $16.23.69. So between the two boxes, they weigh about 74 pounds. There should be about 150 tools, give or take a few. And if you do the math, that's a little over $10 per item. Okay, so I opened the longer box of the two. This is what it looked like just opening the flaps. I honestly don't remember what tools are going to be in here. Well, I don't know what's in either box. Um, but as far as like what actual tools I bought, I, I forgot. It's been a couple of weeks. So inside that box, they had uh, the three boxes you see here. I'm going to start with the green one. Now, if we go by what's written on the box, that's what came in it. But I know uh, I didn't buy five of anything, so I know there's not five of those in there, but there might be nippers in here. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I love that they're on the cards. The cards are nice, thick cardboard. So there's the part number on that 10 inch carpenter's nipper. So, I don't know exactly how old these are, but it's before they had uh, the uh, barcodes on the packaging. My best guess would be late 70s. And I'm guessing there's just two more of these in here. Cards are a little dinged up, but just the fact that they're there is awesome. So obviously, because I buy these without the photos, um, as we're unpackaging, this is the first time I'm seeing them. And... Uh, not remembering what I bought. <laughs> it's like a little bit of Christmas here. Okay, so these do have barcodes on, on these particular packages. Uh, it's a tongue and groove pliers. It's a big one. Oh, wow. That is awesome. So there's a 16 inch tongue and groove pliers. And there should be three of them in the box. I have a lot of things in quantities of three, but that's that's awesome. I mean, it's the packaging is, is in great shape. Obviously, it's brand new, so that's cool, but that's definitely going in the collection. So I was just looking back at my receipt. I paid uh, just under $20 a piece for these, but I, to me, I think they're worth that all day. I also realized that I do have um, some tools by Fuller USA in this lot. We're going to go to this box next. Okay, just what I can see from opening. This is more diamond. Maybe some other tools in here. But I'll go ahead and pull out a few packages and we'll open them up, see what's in them. And this is everything that was in that box. I'm going to start off with the stuff that uh, is just wrapped in paper so it doesn't have a card or a box with it. I would say these are wrapped in their original packaging. Likely they came in a big box uh, where they just had individual ones that you pull out. I'm going to grab the one that's most unwrapped here. It's just another nipper, of course, by Diamond. It's a little dark out here today, but maybe you can pick up that logo. So three of those. All right, next up, we've got some needle nose in here. There's three pairs, they're all the same. So this is an LN56 Dymaloy. I always get worried about um, buying these tools you know I, I don't get to see the photos and you have all these uh, unfinished surfaces that have been sitting for decades and it's a little tarnished in some spots but overall it's really good I, I get worried that they're gonna be rusted um, I don't know if they're kept in a conditioned area or not but uh, the fact that they're not rusted is great so very nice pliers diamond was known for making very good pliers very good tools overall all right next here we have a uh, a slip joint pliers, I think this would be like a 10 inch. Uh, let's see if we can make the name out here. There. It looks like the number is K310, so that makes sense. It has like a kind of like a matte finish to it. So, three of those. Next up, we have some diagonal cutters, side cutters, dikes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is an S55P, 
And then we have another, this is S55PH. I don't know what the difference is, if there is any at all. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing a difference. Although on, on the tool itself, it just says S55P. On the part number down here, it says PH. So it looks like those are identical. So I have six of those, three carded, one in a box, and two that are loose. All right, I opened four more packages. Uh, these are easy to open one-handed. And it says uh, it's a G7 glass plier. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. So to me, this is a little different. I'm not sure I've seen a pliers. It's kind of like a real wide duckbill. I mean, obviously, if it's called a glass pliers, um, I would imagine it's for clamping on to the edge of a piece and, and trying to get a clean break once it's scored. Those are kind of cool. We got two of those. I've got three of these. Um, okay, this one's saying it's an LC56RP. I'm guessing it's some sort of pliers, but don't know which one. Okay, this is a little different. On the surface, it looks like a needle nose, but um, it has a different end on it. It's got a spring in the middle, but check out that end. That's hopefully hopefully we're focused here. Okay, so that's an end I've never seen on pliers before. If anyone knows the specific purpose for these, feel free to drop it in the comments. And I have three of those. Okay, the next three I have kind of half out of the box. Um, I have not taken them all the way out, so I have not seen them yet. Of course, I've seen this one because it's in a clear package. We just have a uh, K16H, a uh, slip joint pliers. Got three of those carded. Again, this is before the barcodes. Um, I'm not sure when they first started using barcodes. If anyone has that sort of information, feel free to drop it in the comments. I just feel like they're probably uh, 70s, maybe 80s. All right, this was a, let's see if it focused, S56 RGP 6-inch diagonal pliers. Okay, just what it says it is. I've got two of those. And then the last one here is a P56. They're calling it a plastic cutter. I'm not sure what's going to come out of this box because I'm not sure what a plastic cutting pliers looks like. Okay. So it looks like a diagonal cutter. I don't know what makes it a plastic cutter. But... It's got a blue handle, which I'm not real familiar with when it comes to diamond. Usually everything I've seen is green. I've got three of these. All right, we have two more left out of that box. I'm guessing the number here is MS54-2. They're calling it electronic pliers, if that's what's in here. Okay. Little tiny guys. Oh, well, that's different. Look at the end on there. Got little yellow ends on them. I see they all have that. So I guess that's uh, supposed to be there. Another pliers I've never seen before. Very cool. All right, we're gonna move on to the next box. The big box, the 43 pound box. Okay, so far box two is just a box inside of a box, which is good because it's 43 pounds and hate to have any of this stuff damaged. And this is what it looks like when I open box two. I'll start pulling stuff out and we'll go through it. And this is everything that was in that box. There's a lot of it. I do see some of the fuller is made in Japan. That's okay. I wasn't sure if it was US made or Japan made, but uh, I'm okay with that. Okay, first up here we have these fuller, and these are made in the US. Uh, cushion grip flat tip screwdrivers. Three of those. And we have three of the uh, cushion grip fuller uh, stubby flat tips. Then we have three more uh, hard handle, I guess. Um, Fuller, USA. 
flat tips again are slotted. Uh, these also came with the card, which is really cool. Uh, they're not connected to the card as of right now, but uh, uh, looks like maybe a chunk is missing out of them. But uh, I believe all they really had holding these was uh, maybe some tape or just like a real thin wire. And then this bag, we just had one of these screwdrivers. Uh, this is a Phillips, obviously, number one. Fuller USA. Okay, I didn't actually realize I had these in here. But these are some Utica screwdrivers. A uh, big flat tip slotted screwdriver. I would guess uh, I would guess the shank on there is 10 inches. Pretty good size screwdriver. And then here is a Fuller slip joint pliers. Uh, let's see, this one is made in Japan. So that's before barcodes. Uh, there's a lot of good Japanese made tools. So I don't mind older stuff made in Japan. And then we have uh, three of these locking pliers made by Crescent. And these are USA made. As you can see, some of the plastic is yellowing. These are barcoded. But moving on, we have some more screwdrivers here. This is a Phillips. This is made by Exolite. USA, of course. I really love these old uh, translucent handle screwdrivers. They look so much better than the new ones, as far as I'm concerned. And then we have a couple of stubbies here with the comfort handle. And these are actually made by Williams, which is uh, now a Snap-on brand. But I, I think this is probably before they were acquired by Snap-on. But I don't know what year that was. They look just like the Fullers, I guess, but there was a lot of screwdrivers that uh, cushion grips that had this basically identical grip. Klein being another one of them. And we have some more uh, flat tips here by Fuller. And I believe, again, that these are made in the USA, although it's stamped on the shank, maybe. It's not stamped anywhere, so maybe they're not. Maybe this is a, a Japanese tool. It has a square shank on that one. And then we have three of these, uh, I think they're made by Crescent, um, they're Bridgeport, but I think it's uh, Crescent Bridgeport, if I'm not mistaken. Is that going to focus on there? I'm not sure why it's got this little handle on the back, but it's a longer shank. Um, overall, I'd say this screwdriver is about eight, nine inches long, and I've got three of those. And then the last bag here, we've got some Crescent uh, flat tips, sort of the newer versions, USA made yet though, um, because of course they're no longer making their tools in the US. Three of those. So next up we have this uh, Crescent Bridgeport 3707, that'll focus. It is a nut driver, there's three of those. I believe these are 730 seconds, yes. And we have three more, this looks like a fuller, screwdriver 310 fuller flat tip and then we have a few more then we have a few more from Utica there's the part number on those flat tip so a lot of a lot of flat tip screwdrivers in this lot something that you don't see is common today um, but maybe that's why they're still available uh, in somebody's secret stash is because uh, they probably weren't that common when they were being sold. Here's uh, three fuller slip joint pliers made in Japan. Next up we have three fuller golden grip screwdrivers. And maybe this is their version of the high visibility. They almost look like they would glow in the dark. Um, they just got that sort of look to them. And we have some more Utica screwdrivers here, some uh, number one tipped Phillips. Uh, next up we have three Crescent uh, scratch awls. And I believe these are US made. These look just like the handles they had on some Craftsman, I believe. Oh yeah, they're marked USA right there. Next up we have two of these Fuller flat tip stubbies. Um, I believe these cards have been cut where the price was, uh, I believe that's where the 
I don't know if the price was printed on there or that's where they used to put the price sticker, but for some reason they've been cut out right there. And if you remember, we had some um, uncarded fullers earlier that they had the cards in there and they did just use like a little piece of tape to hold those in, like a sort of a that strand tape looks like. And then we have some Crescent, what are these called here? Home Shop. And these are made in the USA. So this is a long shank flat tip screwdriver, three of those. All right, moving on, we have these uh, Crescent, which looks just like an Exolite handle. Uh, screw starters, or, or I should say screw holders, I think they call them. So this is a screw holding mechanics point screwdriver. And as, if you can see, it, it looks almost like the handle's breaking down inside the package, but I believe that's actually the packaging. Um, I, I just rubbed on it some places, and it, it looks like the handle is not broken down. It's actually the packaging that just has some funny look to it. Three of those. Uh, there's this six-piece set of Crescent screwdrivers. Uh, next up here is a Crescent... Uh, it's called a 9-inch end cutting. Uh, it did pop out of the box, so I believe it's a nipper. So there's the number on that one. Made in the USA. And we got another box here. I believe this is a crescent box again. And this is a chain nose side cutting pliers. Should, should be a round tip needle nose, basically. I would assume these are not all that old. Um, just based on the fact that it looks like the logo is like acid etched on there, not stamped. And moving along, we have two pairs of these Exolite uh, slip nose or <laughs> slip joint pliers. These look pretty old uh, based on the packaging, based on the fact they don't have a uh, barcode. I would say those are definitely from the 70s, maybe even earlier. And we have three of these bigger slip joint, 8 inch slip joint by Crescent USA. And we have three of these Bonnie, that looks to be a number four, uh, looks to be a number four Phillips on there. Bonnie USA CP4. Pretty good size screwdriver. All right, next we have these little stubby, looks like Exolite, but they're marked Williams. And then I also have um, the match with the flat tip. So got three of each, flat tip and uh, Phillips of these stubby screwdrivers. And then I have these Exolite, I believe these are some sort of, uh, for terminals of some sort. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the purpose. There's the part number. Got three of those. And then I have uh, another size, I would imagine, a TW32. A little bit smaller some sort of uh, uh, for some reason I, I believe it said terminal uh, screwdriver on them uh, and then we have some of these uh, offset screwdrivers let's see these are made by Williams as well there's three flat tips in there and there's three more in here okay this is interesting they look um, almost identical but these are Bridgeport which I believe is the Crescent brand. <laughs> but probably made by the same manufacturer, whoever that was. We have a little uh, Sterrett, let's see, number 71 thickness gauge. So like a little feeler gauge, basically. And we got some little wooden handled uh, Phillips stubbies made by Williams. If I can get one out. There we go. Neat little screwdriver. Three of those. And then we have three of these Sterrett uh, number 72s. What are they calling these? Uh, thickness gauge with locking device. So I'm not going to take it completely out of the packaging, but that's what that one looks like. Three of those. 
All right, next we have these three, uh, they're, they're packaged unbreakable amber. Uh, they're made by Fuller, they're flat tip screwdrivers. I don't know if there's a specific purpose for these. They look like they're degrading a little bit in the package, but actually they're not. If you look at the back side here, you can remove and you can see down in there that they're fine. It's actually the plastic. So I don't know what's uh, special about this screwdriver or if it just uh, that's just their advertising. And next up we have three of these Diamond RP8. Imagine these are pliers. It says pliers running, whatever that means. Or is that what this says? Looks like running. Okay, so this is interesting. Now this looks a lot like the glass pliers that we had before. It actually has protective uh, tips. It has a set screw so you can only close it so far. So that's a little different. I've never seen one like that. A little bit of tarnish on there, but not bad. So next I have this Crescent. Um, let's see what's in there. Thin straight nose combo pliers. I see that these are both made by Cooper Tools. Which is interesting. Um, I had no idea that Crescent and Diamond were related. So just have one of these. Just your basic uh, slip joint pliers. It does have an, a narrow tip on it though. It's an L28. Nice handle. Okay, then we have these three uh, ball hex Let's see, can't quite make out the name. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> I think that says Exolite. Three of those. And we have three of these little stubbies. I'm guessing these are fuller. And they are fuller. 304 stubby flat tips. I have a box here made by Utica Bonnie. It's a stubby screwdriver on the outside. And sure enough, we have three Bonnie stubby screwdrivers, flat tips. I've got these three pliers here. Uh, there was no box if I could get one out. They look a little like a needle nose. The package says EC54. I don't know. You know, that's what the number is there. So just on the surface, it looked like a needle nose, but obviously it's not. It's It's got a specific purpose. I'm not sure what that is for. Spring-loaded have three of those. All right, we have another one of these that says electronic pliers. We had one of those before, but I don't know if these are different. Yes, they are. So these are like a duck bill, flat bill, flat tip, whatever. Uh, let's see. And these are number DN54. These are also spring-loaded. They don't seem to have any teeth on them. I don't know if you can see that or not. So there should be three of those in there. And there's only one of these. Um, let's see if I can make out SC54. Another pliers that looks like a needle nose, but then it has this opening on the other side. You know, as I go through these, if you know what these are made for, just go ahead and drop it in the comments. All right, next up we have three of these. Uh, let's see if we can focus. Come on. Next up we have three of these K110, it looks like. So it's a... I think it's a K110, so I'm guessing the 10 stands for 10 inch. Very nice, high polish chrome. Very nice slip joint pliers. Three of those. And we have three of these packages, um, retaining ring plier tips. So like a snap ring pliers that has the interchangeable tips. I could use some of these. I've got plenty of those snap uh, ring pliers that maybe only have one set of tips in or no tips. And so I'll definitely be using some of these. Three of those, three packages. All right, we have three of these. It says diagonal pliers, and that's what they are, just uh, green-handled diagonal cutting pliers. Three of those. And we have just a few more to go. We only have one of these. It's a K15PH five-inch slip joint pliers on the card, green handle. I'm gonna keep one of everything, so since I only have one of these, I'm gonna keep that one. And the next one here is just a K15H, uh, so maybe the P, H on the previous one is for the plastic handle. We got three of those. So next up is this uh, GC6H. They're calling it a curved jaw glass breaking pliers. There's three of those. And you can see there the top jaw is curved. 
the bottom looks pretty straight, but it does have a jog down in here. All right, last up we have three of these uh, K18H, uh, three slip joint pliers. I'm guessing that must be an eight inch, the one eight is for eight inch. And we have three of those. And that's everything on this one. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.